Sir, dude. Oh, hold on. There we go. Bloody, we've got lift off. Shan't do technical difficulties, mate. I've been quite open and honest that I think the D, uh, the DC. Okay. I've been quite open and honest that the MCU, owned by Disney, is plummeting and it's plummeted hard and it's actually like fallen on its face and broken its neck. Now they went in for rehabilitation programs. They tried fixing that shit, putting a few bloody like stints in there, a few poles to keep it straight, and it just keeps snapping again, breaking. They can't seem to get this shit right. But if you like me, you watched Loki, and uh, I'll be honest, I think it was okay. I thought it was decent. Look, I was a huge Marvel fan. I really was, and I probably still am, but I don't think Loki was like the best thing ever. You know, I think it was decent. I think Jonathan Majors was fine. I think Tom Hiddleston was amazing as usual. You know, I think his mate Morbius, I can't remember the dude's name from Marley and Me. He was decent, but I still think this is like a dead corpse, and it's been dead for like two, three years, and they just keep getting them like, what they call the uh, shockers, you know, what they put on like the defibrillator or something, they just keep zapping it, giving it five minutes of life and then it just keeps collapsing again, it, it, it's just dead mate, they keep prodding it with a stick hoping that it's just going to revive and turn into Robert Downey Jr and it's just not, it's just there drooling dead, asking just leave me alone, just leave me be, let me die in peace, we're going to just waste a bit of time watching uh, Loki, season 2 trailer, it's got, me, it's got that dude in, it's got a short round in, that's why I'm watching it, no other reason, let's play that shit you son of a bitch. situation we wanted to run by you. Morbius! Wow! There he is. That was Mobius. Did I call him Morbius? Morbius. <laughs> Morbius is from that shit film with, um, oh, what's he called? That shit actor. Jared Leto. Jesus Christ. The, the sooner he leaves acting and retires, and the better off we'll all be. Let's go short round. Great to see you again. I don't actually remember how the first one ended. How did season one end? I remember there was a girl in it, and did he like fancy himself in girl version? It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. And um, why would he agree to this as well? He's he's a legend at the moment, isn't he? He's just his career's blossoming again after a forty-year hiatus. He's back, baby, and he's decided to jump into a Marvel show. Like, why? Between the past and the present. Hello. If what I saw is true. There's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction. One of my massive complaints of this is that Loki is the Loki straight from Avengers 2012, um, isn't it? And he was a dick. Why is he suddenly good? Doesn't make sense. Oh, he's not good, but you know, he's not. He's not bad, is he? He's a, he's a decent bloke, you know. You'd probably have tea with him and not worry that he's going to kill you. Like that scene when he's in Avengers 1 and there's that guy who stands up and he's about to kill him and Captain Captain Sparkle Pants comes, jumps down and saves him, you know. that That's the Loki that this guy is. He's, he's not a good bloke. Listen, we have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I take a more slow, deliberate, cerebral approach. It's really good pie. It's really good pie. It's up to us. Was that that girl? Can't remember her name. So sorry. I should have at least looked at the cast list. I can't remember. Is this cracked? Yes, babe. Whatever we do, we're playing God. We are gods. We are gods, boy. I am a god from another world. Betray us to me. Make the hard choice. Oh shit, it's him! That's interesting that they chose to include him. I mean, they must know something we don't. I think he's probably going to get away with it then. I think if he wasn't in it, I, I was I was going to assume they were going to get rid of this bloke because uh, I don't know what he did. Probably nothing, or maybe he did. I don't know. I think he hit someone, his wife, his girlfriend, woman, beat her. But maybe she's just after a bit of moolah. Or maybe he's a real scumbag. It's him. I thought it was spot on. I have to admit. Ah! 
I have to admit that looks pretty cool. I, I think the MCU, as we discussed, is a beaten and bloodied corpse struggling to stay dead. But I think this is probably the most exciting and one of the most good looking shows I think I've seen. Best part is it's only six episodes, so you don't have to actually sell your soul. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen Secret Invasion. I haven't because I knew it was going to be terrible. And then when it got to the first episode, I was like, oh, this might actually be good. I might have to watch it. Then the second episode came. And I was like, nah, I'm glad I didn't waste my time. And then the finale came. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm really glad I did not waste my time. God damn, what were they thinking? Amelia Clark tracks his arm. I'm like, what the fuck? But we're not here about that. I think this looks cool. Like, Sylvie. I've just remembered her name, isn't it? Is her name Sylvie? Sylvie. How do you go cast? Yes, I was right. He who remains. That was her, wasn't it, I think? Did she have a different trim? Fuck knows. Fuck cares. I don't care. But I'm really excited to this. I mean, Jonathan Majors. See, yeah, he's here to stay. Disgrace actor. I mean, he's not really, though. He's not been proven. I, again, I have no no, uh, no opinions on anything. I am a delinquent. So he's uh, convicted of misdemeanor charges of assault and harassment. Look, who knows? But, uh, you know, it's just clickbait shit like this. Disgrace actor. He's not disgraced. He's just someone said something that could be true. If he is true, then, yeah, you can probably write that article but it's not true yet is it I mean but yeah Tom Hiddleston he's just a 10 out of 10 not only in looks but also in performance I can't wait I cannot wait just when you think you're done it pulls you back in like a bloody virus but yeah you guys let me know what you guys think of this I think yeah I, I have to admit I really liked Falcon and the Winter Soldier so my opinions are probably very very invalid I, I actually quite enjoyed this show and I wasn't a huge fan of WandaVision actually the, I preferred Falcon and Winter Soldier that was definitely my favourite I liked Loki season 1 but I don't think it was the best thing since sliced bread moon knight i've not finished i've heard it's good but i'm not really like didn't really intrigue me that much i mean i watched like the first half and she hulk that was just crap i mean that was just crap it was so bad miss marvel i'm not seen i think it was pretty terrible on oh, 98 i think i've I actually didn't know that 98 percent i've heard it was terrible hawkeye i didn't mind i didn't mind i didn't hate it i do really like kingpin though on big daredevil blow i love looking at florence Pugh and Haley steinfeld well Hayley Steinfeld, but you guys let me know what you think down below. I'm going to rate that trailer a solid 8. Got me ball tingling. My spider sense is tingling. I'm excited. Take care, guys. Goodbye.